Greetings and salutations, you guys. It's Hayden here. Welcome to uh, our Thursday night, late night live sale to Thursday, August 25, 2022. How is everyone doing tonight? I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I know it's like a little bit of a different setup. I'm trying to fix up this area so I can like film here. So excuse like the mess in the back. I've been at it all day and I've been trying to just like clean and organize everything and I kind of just like threw everything on the shelves right now so they wouldn't be on the floor but how is everyone doing tonight happy Thursday do y'all have a good day hello mama miss Lang. there's two full right there aka hey, Hannah how are you um there's Edie there's fantastic hello Linda DG house boots how is everyone doing? Happy Thursday. Did you guys have a good day today? Did anyone do anything exciting? Anything fun? Hi, Linda, Diana. Um, let's see who else is in here. Um, sister of a down. Hello. Hi, guys. Cindy. There's Brina. <laughs> Brina, it is such a hot mess right here. Let me show you guys. Look at that. It is just like a mess. I need to just... I'm trying to organize everything still, so... Um, Bear with me. Hopefully by the... I think I'm going to do a live sale tomorrow, too. I know it's not scheduled, but I think I'll do, like, a late night live sale. I don't know if I should do one at 8 or 10 tomorrow, uh, but I think I'm going to do one tomorrow. Yeah, Friday night. Maybe, like, at 9. Maybe we'll start at 9. Yeah, maybe tomorrow at 9. And then maybe, like, I, I should hopefully have everything, like, cleaned up. Everything's, like, still messy back there. So, hi, Katie. KS. Hi, guys. Oh my gosh, it is so warm today. Well, actually, it wasn't that warm today. Not as warm as it has been, but it's, it was still pretty hot. Hi, Candy. Oh, Mama was saying, I'm glad you got your stuff. Yay. Brina, <laughs> I like to clean. I just don't like to clean my own stuff. I, don't know, I like to clean the house more than just like my room. Oh, yay. Linda, I'm glad you got it. I'm sorry you left it out of your package. I don't know what happened. Oh, Diana. Okay, that's good to hear. Hi, Sophia. How's it going? All right, you guys. Um, Help me think of a giveaway question. <gasps> no, Diana. That's horrible. I know sometimes people just does crazy stuff, though. So, I don't know. Sometimes you just got to roll with it and then just, like, wait for them to fix it. Oh, Mr. Rex, thank you so much. <laughs> I don't really have a workout plan. My cardio is thrifting and cleaning. When I'm cleaning, I just kind of try to clean and overdrive. So it, like, burns some, like, calories. Uh, but I've just been trying to, like, do low-carb. Um, not, like, keto, but just trying to, like, eat less carbs. R cutting out rice was probably one of the best things I've done to help me lose weight because I think rice, like, makes me gain weight, oh, like, really quickly and, like, keep it on. So just cutting out rice and just, like, most carbs in general. I still will, like, have carbs. I try to keep it around, like, 45 grams of carbs a day. But I don't know. Event like, sometimes I'll go over. Like, recently, I've been a lot more lenient on myself. Um... And I haven't really, I've been, like, just staying at this weight. I've been around 180, um, 180, 182 for, like, the past month, which actually has been good because my hair has started growing back, which is why I cut it, because <laughs> all my hair was kind of growing back, and it was, like, all weird and short, and then I had, like, a weird patch, so, um, but thank you. Hi, Kristen. Um, Brina, it was the Amish butter print is the name of the print. So it's Amish butter print, Brina. Oh, Brina, actually, I have the blue version of that right now. Hold on. I'll show you a right, I'll show you in a second. Um, I actually found two more pieces. They're kind of like casserole dishes, kind of. So I'll show you a right, I'll show you in a second. Oh, Diana, yeah. I'm sorry that happened. Oh, too full, yeah. It is so hard trying to stay there, like, around 45 grams of carbs, 50 grams. Like, it is hard. Like, a cup, uh, like, a, like one serving of, like, apple juice is literally, like, gonna be that. 
pretty much. So it's just like, it's, I, it's kind of an eye opener looking to see how many carbs things have. Like I never really noticed until recently. Dukan. Ooh, what's the Dukan diet? Oh, keto is so hard. I don't know how anyone does keto because keto is like even less grams of carbs. I think it's like 20 grams, is it? Like less than 20? Something like that. It's really, really low. But, oh, help me, help me think of a question, guys, for tonight's giveaway. But let me show you tonight's giveaway. Tonight, you're going to be getting, this is, uh, I found more of these guys. They're the My Melody little candy pouches. So there's like little zipper pouches. They're so cute. You can put your cards in here. You can put change in here. Whatever. And then also one of these cute little towel handkerchiefs. I always keep one of these inside my bag. Just so, in case like, I need to like oh, pat myself down or anything like that. Oh, thank you so much, Linda. I definitely do, though. <laughs> uh, when I try low carb, I had to stay below. <gasps> oh my gosh, Katie, you had to stay under 15 grams. That's crazy. Oh, 13. Oh, Linda, that's awesome. 13 pounds in two months is really good. Ooh, intermittent fasting is hard for me because I just love to eat too much. Dash diet. Oh, I have to try the dash diet. What's that? My Brenda. Oh, Diana, I'm glad she likes it. Hi, West Coast gal. Oh, yeah, too much? Uh, like... Um, of the, what's it called? Of, like, the, like, the fake sugar, you know? Kind of like stevia or, um, any of that other stuff. Like, it makes mom get, like, sick. So, she can't have too much of it either, which is a bummer. Ooh, fries. I know Sharon fries are, like, my weakness. I still have fries. Honestly, I still have fries, like, once a week now because I just can't keep it out of my diet like I can't say no to fries so I have to have fries at least once not too many you know but yeah I love fries too much they're like my favorite the funny thing is though I gain more weight with rice than I do with the uh, with potatoes so luckily I can still have that sometimes Ooh, Mr. Rex I like that question what is your food kryptonite the one food that you know you shouldn't eat but you need it Yes. Okay, that is tonight's question. Thank you. Thank you to Mr. Rex for that great question. So, there you go. Um, I'm going to leave the link for the giveaway. So, leave your answer in the comments of this video. It was this morning YouTube video. So, leave your answer in the comments of the video. And at the end of tonight's live sale, I'm going to be announcing our giveaway winner. Oh, look, I still have a little, a little animal right here. <laughs> Let me just take that guy off. Okay. Oh, let you fly in KS. Yes, I love let you fly in Halo Halo. Sister, oh my gosh, that'll be tomorrow's question. What are your favorite French fries? I think mine would probably be from McDonald's. McDonald's French fries are definitely a weakness of mine. They are so, so good. I'm taking off that hat because I got hot. <laughs> so I apologize for how shiny I am right now. Are there any, right, Linda? Exactly. The only other fries I really like, though, are the Arby's curly fries. But that's that's a different type of fry. Like, curly fries are their own thing. So, but I love curly fries so much, too. But the one, you can actually get the Arby's fries, the frozen ones, at the store. And they taste exactly the same, and it's so much cheaper. So I highly recommend just buying the Arby's fries in the freezer section. And it is so delicious. And it's so much cheaper. Oh, Kirsten, you put the comment, you, you put the answer to the, tonight's question in the comments of the video that I just linked. Unfortunately, you can't leave comments on the live video until the live's over. So I have to have like another video to choose from. So it was this morning's YouTube video that I put up. And don't forget to give that video a like and this one as well. That always does help the channel immensely. Uh, trying to grow the channel this year. I want to end the year that like hopefully like 50,000 subscribers. That would be amazing. <gasps> yes, twofold. Any of the um, frozen french fries, 
from the frozen section, they taste amazing in the air fryer. The only thing is you have to really watch them because they dry out really quickly. And then, like, once you, like, go over that, like, they kind of taste cardboardy. You're welcome, Kirsten. All right, so that, again, is the link. I left it right there a couple more times in the live chat. And let's get started. I'll remind you guys again about it in... Uh, like halfway through the live and then again at the very end before we um, call the giveaway winner. They're having a roof place. Oh no way, Tanya. What a bummer. I would be so sad. It's probably not like ha how it is over here where you live all the way in New Zealand because in here there's like literally a McDonald's around every corner. There are so many McDonald's here. And just Starbucks also. Oh my gosh. I think in a one mile radius, I think we have, I feel like seven, uh, seven uh, Starbucks. Just on the street by where I, like my, like my Albertsons is, there's a, there's a Starbucks and Albertsons across the street. There's another Starbucks in the shopping center, like a regular one. And then diagonal across the street, like over the freeway, which is like literally like half a mile away, there's another Starbucks over there too. Like it's crazy. Hi, Don. Oh yeah, for sure, too full. <gasps> Diana, really? We used the air fryer today to fry, um, like fry chick, like to fry um, chicken wings. Oh my gosh, so so good. Four hundred, um, four hundred degrees. For 25 minutes is how long um, I usually cook like the fried chicken wings for in the air fryer and it comes out perfect every time. Nice and crispy. Oh, I'm so hungry again. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Our only... <gasps> Are you serious, Sharon? Oh my goodness. I feel like people in America cannot live without Starbucks. That is so crazy. Even in the Philippines, Starbucks has gotten huge. There's like a million Starbucks too over there. But in the Philippines, there's a lot of food places in general. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, Chick-fil-A. You know though, Chick-fil-A has the best spicy chicken sandwich. It's my favorite. You know, KS Love, I've never tried air frying lumpia. Is it delicious? I've never tried it before. We always just fry it regularly. Alright, well... Let me get started. Um, first thing... Oh, here, let me start with this. This guy is so, 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 so cute. Into double... Oh, bubble tea. Yeah, we have a lot of those here, too. Hi, Linda. How's it going? The frying pan. <gasps> Hi, Forever VSG. Don, you haven't missed anything yet. I haven't even started. <laughs> You'd, oh, <gasps> Tani, you don't drink coffee. You're so strong. That's amazing. I used to I used to not drink coffee either. I didn't start drinking coffee till like, way into college. I was, like, halfway through college already. And then I started drinking coffee because I thought it was delicious. And I never looked back. I've just been drinking coffee ever since. All right. So our first item for the evening um, is a super cute Madewell crossbody bag. This is just in this beautiful black leather it's so pretty it has like these two little um stitched things right here and that's for the interior label so that's what that is the interior is also unlined so it's leather inside of there and then what do you say vadrian oh sorry <laughs> and we have the crossbody strap right here the crossbody strap too is adjustable and removable and it's a really good length i love the shape of this too I love kind of like that rounded bottom, and it does zip all the way across the top. This bag is in fantastic condition. It looks like new. And yeah, black Madewell crossbody bag. <gasps> Dawn, I'm so glad you like it. Yay. Also, when is your birthday? You said it was your birthday week, right? Or your birthday's on Monday, right? I have to remember. Okay, so this is our black Madewell crossbody bag with brass hardware. And this is going to be how much for you, Okay, we're going to do this guy for just $45. This one is in light new condition. That's item 
number one. Super duper cute. Okay. Oh, it's on Monday. Okay. I gotta remember. We gotta sing happy birthday to you or something like on Saturday nights live. Oh, that's awesome, Dawn. Isn't it such a beautiful bag? I love that bag. It's so cute. I love, love, love that style Gucci tote. Okay, number two. Um, I have... Okay, I have this Dooney and Burke tote shoulder bag. And this one is in, it's almost like an epi style leather, like the epi from Louis Vuitton. Uh, it's in black. Oh, Marjorie's calling item number one. Congratulations, Marjorie. Oh, you guys, I got the gavel back. Congratulations, Marjorie. I found the gavel while I was cleaning. <laughs> and I found the little bottom part too, so I'm really excited. All right, congratulations, Marjorie. First sale of the evening. Sold. Yay! Yeah, isn't it so pretty? It's kind of like that creamy... Ah, I love that Bakke bag. It looks kind of like a puzzle bag, right? Oh, um, back to the bag. So it kind of has kind of like that epi style leather. And then it has uh, this beautiful like patinaed golden brown leather trim. You see that there is a little bit of like water um, kind of like staining right here. But it's not too bad. The bag still looks really, really nice. There's the back. It has a zipper pocket right there. This also does zip all the way across the top, which is nice. And the interior does have some discoloration, but it's not too, not too bad. Uh, there's one zipper pocket, there's an open pocket underneath that, there's a key fob, and then two more compartments on the other side. And like I said, this does zip all the way across the top too. So this is like a really good travel bag, but this is also a great everyday bag, and it sits really nicely on your shoulder. The strap is nice and long. Virgos, yes! Oh my gosh, Boots, your birthday is September 20th. How exciting! Oh my gosh. It's almost a month. It's like a little bit less than a month away. <gasps> Stop! A pink Loewe Flamenco? Was it the one with the poofs on the side, like the little um, pom-poms, or is it the, the one with the knots? Oh my gosh, we have to have a virtual party on Yahoo, yes, that's going to be so much fun, Boots. Okay, so this is a number two, our black Juni and Burke um, Epi leather tote bag with a golden brown leather trim. My birthday is on March 1st, Linda. All right. So I, I'm a Pisces. How much is this one going to be, Vader? Okay, we're going to do this guy for $50. She's in pretty good shape, but uh, definitely does have a little bit of wear to her. But I feel like she just has so much life left. And I love this leather. It's so nice. All right, so that's that guy. Oh, Diana, how much was it? And was it the little one? Or was it the, I don't know, what did you say? Was it the small one? Oh, we had a little, had a pink love. Oh my gosh. Now I really want to see that bag. It's okay, though. It was pink. <laughs> I really want, like, an orange one or, like, a green one. I think would be really fun. I'm, not, I'm really into colors right now. Like, I either want, like, a bright orange. I, I really, really want a bright orange bag for some reason. Um, and then I also would love kind of like a mint green bag, too. Okay, let's go to number three. Oh, this guy's kind of cool. All right. This one is... 
a fossil, um, kind of like briefcase crossbody bag. And this is in a canvas. <gasps> Diana, that is a good price for that 400. Gee whiz. Two full, one in every color, yes. <laughs> okay, so um, this is a fossil, kind of like a laptop briefcase messenger crossbody bag. Um, it's in kind of like this khaki, green, gray um, canvas, and then it has brown leather trim. On the front, we have a nice large pocket, and on the back, there are two pockets. We have the top handles, and then the crossbody strap, which is adjustable and removable, and this is in... A fabric as well and then the interior we have a laptop compartment so it's padded which is nice and this will hold up to a hold on let me see will it fit my laptop it should fit up to a 15 inch macbook pro inside that pocket right there and then on the other side there is a zipper pocket there's three pen slots and then two pockets right there and then a little card pocket there is a stain on the bottom, though. It looks like a red ink stain. You see that? You see the, do you see that right there? It's kind of like reddish. That's as light as I could get. I tried to clean it out, but that's as clean as, as I could remove the stain. It's actually not too bad, but it is definitely there. Um, there are a couple other, like, small pen marks as well in the interior line. You can see one that looks like the letter V right there. But um, the interior is not in bad shape. And the exterior, um, the leather is in good shape as well. It just has a regular, um, kind of like a patina. But there is a light, kind of like pen mark going across there. I, I got it as light as I could, but you can kind of still see it. And then there, um, there are just these two kind of like lighter, lighter marks right there. Those should darken up though as you use the leather, but they kind of like got scratched, kind of like that is what happened. Um, there also is a little fossil, um, little tag right there, and yeah, okay, so that's the bag. <laughs> Sorry, that was, like, such a long description, but, eBay has two different Levy totes, one different, <gasps> ooh, what kind of Levy totes, two full, okay, this is fossil laptop. Uh, canvas crossbody bag with leather trim and brass hardware. And this one, we're just going to do this guy for just $25. It still has so much life left, but again, it does have some, like some stains and marks on it. But nothing is like too noticeable. And it looks really, really nice and lived in. And crossbody... This is like a great like plane bag too, like an airplane bag. And the canvas is nice and sturdy. Okay, that's item number three. Let's go to number four. Oh, let me do those. Um, All right, Brina, this is what I was talking about. So um, the one that you got, it was white with the Tiffany blue print. And these are the Tiffany blue with a white print. Um, these do have a little bit more wear to them. Um, I think it's primarily the smaller one. It just has a couple spots where some of the blue has kind of come off. There's a little, two little spots right there and a couple little spots just like right there. But... They're still in good shape. I'm selling the, the pair of them. I don't have lids for these, though. Oh, Cindy's calling number three. Congratulations, Cindy. Yay, congrats. Okay. But, um, yeah. So, this one is... How many quarts is this? Or what size is this? Um, so this bigger one is one quart, and this one is one pint. So the smallest one, one pint, one quart. And these are going to be a pair. 
and these are the light, or these are the Tiffany Blue Pyrex um, Amish Butter Print. I'm going to call them casserole. Casseroles, one pint and one quart. And these do have a little bit of wear to them, so I'm going to do them a lot less than I did the other two. So these are just going to be um, $35 if anyone is interested. That's item number four. Oh, that, Breen, I didn't even see you call them. Did you still want them? They're $35. Gooseberry. All right, Brina. Well, congratulations, Brina. Sorry, guys. Brina called that one first, but I will um, look for more of these. I always look for anything that's Tiffany blue, so. But congratulations, Brina. I honestly think I have more of those that I haven't found, because I know for sure I have more Amish butter print, um, but I have them, like, in a box inside the garage somewhere, so I will... Keep a lookout. All right. Well, congratulations, Brina. Number five is up next. Okay. Oh, hold on. Since we're doing, like, some dinner stuff, I don't know if anyone <laughs> would be interested in this, but it is so stinking cool. Um, this is by a brand called Blue Sky. And this is the coolest, um, what is this thing called? Teapot. And it has, like, this octopus. Do you see him? And he's, like, holding on to the teapot. It's so cool. I collect cool stuff like this. Um, but I'm gonna let this one go. Because I have another octopus one. And so, can't have too many. Alright, so this is gonna be our next item. Okay, so this is item number five, our octopus um, teapot. And again, the brand is called Blue Sky. Um, the teapot is in good condition. I don't think there are any, like, chips or anything on it. And the lid is in good shape, and the spout is good. Um, this guy, we're going to do for... <laughs> right, <laughs> right, Anne. Uh, we're gonna do this guy for twenty-five dollars. A fun little teapot. I think I looked this up a while ago when I got it. Um, oh, I can't spell octopus. I'm sorry. Um, I think this one retail, like the resale value of this, is like pretty high. But it's so cute, right? And this is like, I feel like they don't make stuff like this anymore. It's so fun. Look, you can see his face on that side. And his little, like, tentacle is part of the little top right here. That's so cool. Oh, uh, Tufel's calling it! Yay! Hannah, congratulations! Oh my gosh, you guys are loving the homeware stuff. I love that. I probably will have um, a lot more houseware stuff. Because I've been cleaning out the garage. So... Um, I'll try to bring out some more for tomorrow, too. Because I got some really cute stuff. I just have too much of it. And I can't send it all to the Philippines, right? Okay, number six is up next. And let's do... Okay, this is a super cute Rebecca Minkoff. Here she is. She is in black pebbled leather. It uh, has silver studs going down the sides, which are really fun. And then we have the crossbody strap right here. It is adjustable and it is removable. It's kind of like in the silhouette of the Hermes Evelyn, right? We have a little turn lock right here that opens up the bag. And then the interior, it has a zipper pocket right there and then an open pocket um, inside. And the interior is not in bad shape. Um, it's also unlined. So, it's just the unlined, um, suede under part of the leather. 
which is also, I, I like it when it has like a suede lining. I don't really like the fabric as much sometimes. And then it has this little uh, leather tassel right here. There is a little bit of color loss on the hardware so that you do see it kind of turning a little coppery. But I feel like it kind of makes the bag like look cooler, like edgier. So I feel like it kind of goes with it. And here's the bag on. It's a great little crossbody, right? Dental, oh, Sarah, dental insurance? What, whatever you, okay, I totally missed it. Won't quite go with my Cthulhu mug, <laughs> too full. I, I do have a lot of bags in the back. I know a banana. That is not even half of it. I have way more than that. I actually really need to clean that up. Oh, and I do. I, I definitely have enough to open my own physical store. I just um don't have the capacity to run a physical store. It's a Black Rebecca Minkoff. Um, crossbody, Evelyn style bag with silver hardware. So cute, right? Okay, we do this guy for just $60. It's in really great shape other than some of that color loss on the hardware. So that's item number six for 60. Hopefully I'll have the bags looking better tomorrow when you guys come back. Hopefully I'll have everything looking nice and neat back there. I kind of just threw everything onto the shelf so that way they weren't just all on the floor. Okay, up next, we're on item number seven. Oh, I wouldn't even know how to go about doing something like that. Oh my gosh, Pauline. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, Linda's calling number six. Congratulations, Linda. Okay, number seven is up next. Um, oh, you know what I found, too? I found some mugs. I don't know if anyone's into any mugs right now. But I have... This is a Anthropology mug, and it has the letter M on it. Uh, and it has just, like, this really pretty floral print. And then when you look inside, it also has the floral print with the letter M inside. And this is from Anthropology, And it's in really, really great shape. Look how cute the handle is. So this is our little anthropology mug right here. I think this is also a retired uh, design too. So this is our next item, number seven. That reminds me, I need to go to the dentist to get a teeth cleaning. <laughs> Eliza was just at the dentist like not too long ago and he had so many, he had to get so many fillings. It was so sad. Diana. Okay, so this is um, number seven. This is our Anthropology Blue Floral Letter M mug. And this one we're just doing for $20. Letter M. Really cute with the letter M on the inside. What do you say, Vadrian? Skin. Oh. Oh, Mama Miss Nice calling number seven. Congratulations. Oh! Yay! Did I do that? Okay, up next, I have... Oh, I have this guy. I totally forgot that I had this. All right. Up next, I have... This is a little Michael Kors shoulder bag in a gray monogram canvas with silver hardware. And then the leather is in like a metallic silver. It's super cute. Um, it's in pretty good condition. The fabric is in great shape. Um, there's just very minimal rubbing on the leather, which is right here. There's just like one little piece on the back strap right there that's a little bit discolored. And then it does have a little snap that you can do up in the middle to kind of keep it closed up. 
or you can have that open and it does kind of extend the bag a little bit. So you kind of can carry the bag a couple of different ways. Uh, the interior is in decent shape. It looks like there um, is a little pen mark right here. Do you see that right there in the back? It looks like a pen kind of exploded a little bit right there, but it's not horrible. There's a pocket right there. On the other side, there's a zipper pocket. And yeah, again, not too bad on the inside. It just has minimal like discoloration at the very bottom and then it has that pen mark on the side. And it does also have um, the little Michael Kors charm right there as well. And this guy will be number seven. Michael Kors gray canvas monogrammed shoulder bag with metallic silver leather trim and silver hardware. All right, we're gonna do this guy for um, $45. Oh, did I put 46? I meant 45. Let me retype that one out. That was 45. All right, there you go. $45 is gonna be item number seven. Okay, up next. Oh, I didn't know I, I should, I should like, oh, no, I can't do that because then I'll remove that. Will it? Nah, it's okay. Oh, it was number eight. Thank you, Lisa. You're right. The mug was number, the, the mug was number seven. Thank you. You're the best, Lisa. <laughs> That was my mistake. Okay, there you go. Columns eight. Um, KS Love, the small. Do you remember what color it was? Was, when did I show it? Do you remember? Um, I might still have, do I have any, um, I don't have any, out. Oh, whoops. I don't have any that I pulled right now, but I know I do have some Marc Jacobs wallets. But if you tell me the color and kind of like the style, um, I can let you know if I still have it. Um, oh, Sophia, I'm sorry. I don't have any Rothy's bags tonight. I'm still on the hunt for them. I got really lucky, like, those few weeks that I kept finding Rothy's bags. But right now, I'd, um, I haven't had any luck with um, finding any. But I am going shopping on Saturday and Sunday, so hopefully I find some more. A tiny wallet. Did it? Was it just a card wallet, um, KS Love? Or was it one that, like, opened and closed? I think it, oh, that, that, that was, um, I think that was a coach wallet. Was it the, the little winking coach wallet? And it was kind of like a metallic, kind of like burgundy color. It was like reddish. But you that one sell? Do I still have that one? I think I might still have it, KS loves. Um, okay, hold on just one second, guys. Let me go see if I can find it. I think I have that one over here somewhere. Talk amongst yourselves.
Okay. I got my bin of wallets. Let me see if I can... I also got a diet orange soda because I got thirsty. The water wasn't doing it. Okay, let's see if I... Oh, there it is! Here we go. So this is that coach. It's the little winky face wallet. There's the little wink in blue and it's like glittery. And then the, the heart is in a glittery gold. And there's the back. There's a pocket right there. And this just has a magnetic snap. Or magnetic snap. It has a little snap button, sorry. And there's a pocket, pocket, and then compartment. And this is lined in leather. And it's in a black leather. Angela, I don't think I have like card holder or key holders with like the little key clips. I think I have a couple that have a keychain like hook on it. Um, so this is going to be item number nine. This is our metallic, um, I'm going to say burgundy, burgundy winky face coach wallet. And this guy, I think we did that one for 45, but we're going to do 40 tonight. That's going to be item number nine. If anyone's interested, um, number, that's a wallet. And this one's in like new condition. There's like virtually nowhere on this guy. Oh, congratulations, KS Love. <laughs> Woohoo! I need a thing for my soda. All right. Uh, let me see if I have anything with key things in it. Hold on. Um, pink bags or wallets. I have all, I pretty much all my wallets right here. Let me see if I have anything pink. I have this pink Kate Spade. I also have, this is a magenta pink Chanel. And... I also have, this is the Hermes coin pouch um i think that might be it for like pink stuff though yeah i think that might be it for pink what was the oh it was number nine but you got it you're good <laughs> all right so we're on item number 10 now uh, let's do, can I just, I'll just keep this there, I guess. I'll just have it in front of me. Um, right? The pink case fade is so pretty, Kirsten. Hold on, let me show it to you. And this one, it's in a uh, pink. And then this is like a metallic gold, like Safiano. And then in like a, like a cream. And this wallet is in like new condition. Um, it also does come with the little um, Kate Spade like care card thing. Actually, it also does come with, oh no, it doesn't come with the actual tag. Just kidding. Um, what was the black wallet you had in your hand? I don't know. <laughs> I'll show you the black wallets again in a second though. Ooh, Linda, same. I love oil slick. What was the big black wallet that I had in my hand? Um, I'll, I'll show you the the black wallets. I honestly don't even remember which ones they were anymore. Uh, but I'll hold them up in a second. So this is the pink. Oh, you know what? This is a rose gold. I think I said it was gold. This is a rose gold. So rose gold and then like a cream. Pink, rose gold, cream, scallop. Kate Spade card wallet, and this guy is going to be $40, and this one is in brand new condition. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. That guy is going to be number 10. 
And for the, okay, so I had, this was a black Margiela pouch. This one is a Kate Spade, kind of like wallet clutch. Um, I also had this one. This is a large Alexander Wang wallet. It's like a clutch travel wallet and a pony hair. Um, KS love any Marc Jacob wallets? Yes, actually. Um, I know for sure I have some Marc Jacobs wallets. Let's see which Marc Jacobs ones I have. Oh my goodness. Let me just put these down really quickly. Da, 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 da. Ah! Stuff is falling. Okay, I have... What did you say, Vadrian? Two fall. I am... I will keep an eye out. I don't think I have anything oil slick right now. Um, hopefully I will after this weekend. Okay, so I do have this um, Mark Jacobs wallet right here. And this is in this caviar printed leather. It's like an abstract floral print. And it's in like a lavender, mahogany, burgundy-ish, um, and like a white colorway. And this one is um, in like new condition as well. Yeah, and it's really, really cute. I like the print on this one. And I think I also have another one. I actually might have it somewhere else. Oh, hold on. I think I had it in another bin right here. All my other ones may have sold already, so I only have this guy right here. Krista, I'm using an LV Zippy Compact. Ooh, I love the orange Epi, Krista. I love the orange Epi, and the um, the yellow Epi, I think, is really pretty. Okay, so this is number 11. Okay. So this is our abstract floral print. Mark Jacobs card wallet. And this guy is going to be $40 as well. And that'll be item number 11. I also had, um, this was like a very similar wallet. This is another Kate Spade right here. And this is like the orange one. It's like in a salmon orange. And then this side is in a light pink. It's a very similar style. Oh, Linda's calling number 11. Congratulations, Linda. Yay! Yay! Uh, uh, Deborah, usually I do have a lot of bags in taupe. Uh, let me see if I have anything taupe. Were you looking for a particular brand or anything? I have some taupe wallets, I think. Okay, let me just put these guys over here really quickly. Um, oh, okay, yes, I'm so sorry. Linda already called number 11. Okay, let me just set this down right there. Where did I put that wallet? Oh, 
Um, just in a quick glance, this is like the only taupey thing that I found right now. I know I, I think I might have some more, but this is that mini Tory Burch crossbody bag. This one's in a taupe. It has um, gold writing right there. It just says Tory Burch New York. It has gold hardware, crossbody. The strap is removable and adjustable. It's a really cute size. And has just a little magnetic opening right here. And the interior just has two built-in card slots. And that is pretty much it. There, your phone will fit inside of here, though. I have my large iPhone with a case and the pop socket. And that does fit inside of there beautifully. So you will be able to fit that still inside. And then you can put just a, a card wallet as well in the interior. Okay, KS, I'll, I'll keep a lookout. Because I did have... Um, I had a, I had a Marc Jacobs trifold like a week or two ago, but that one already sold, unfortunately. All right, so this is number 12. Start Hope Mini Tory Burch um, T crossbody bag with gold hardware. And this guy was 165 and it's in like new condition. For our Tory Burch. There we go. Okay. Um, up next, we're on item number 13. Whew! Okay. What are we going to do for 13? I always like to do something fun for 13. I don't know why. Oh, let's do the long chunk. Because this one's still available and I love this bag. No snacks. <laughs> um, not yet. Oh, Deborah's calling number 12. Congratulations, Deborah. Woohoo! Congrats. Okay, so 13 is going to be, this is our Long Chomp camera crossbody bag in a red pebbled leather. It has two front snap pockets right here. And this one is so cute. It's a little camera bag crossbody. Um, has an adjustable strap. Goes like that. It has a double zip. The first compartment is just open. It doesn't have any like interior pockets or anything. It's just like an open compartment. And then the back side has uh, six or seven, or I think eight. <laughs> I'm like, kind of count. has eight built in card slots inside of there. And this bag is in really great shape. It's in like new condition. There's no pen marks or darkening of the lining or anything on this guy. This is it without any of the stuffing inside, too. And I believe this bag retailed for about 500 And this is a newer style as well, but I think it's all sold out pretty much everywhere. Oh, Lynn, stop it. You're going to make me blush. We should... Oh, I do love a snack chat, too, full. Because this is our red long chomp. camera bag with silver hardware and it was how much featuring all right this one is 265 dollars and that's item number 13 it's a great little crossbody <laughs> okay let me just put the paper back in put that one looking nice and structured all right, for number 14, let's do... Oh, actually, guys, don't forget to enter the giveaway. There's a bunch more people in here now. So, 
Um, there's almost a hundred of you guys. So don't forget to enter the giveaway. I'm going to leave the link right there in the live chat for the giveaway question today. Again, thank you to Mr. Uh, to Mr. Rex. What's your food kryptonite? The one food that you know you shouldn't eat, but you need it. Mine is french fries. I love french fries so, so much. Tomorrow's question is also going to be french fries. I already decided. <laughs> What's your favorite french fries? Or what, 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 what fast food place has your favorite french fries? It's going to be tomorrow's question. Hopefully I remember that. And leave your answer in the comments of the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and that one as well. It always helps the channel immensely. And I appreciate it so, so much. Okay. Hi, Miriam. How's it going? Okay, we're on number 14, right? Okay, number 14 is up next. And let's do... Oh, I have this really cute... I don't know if you guys know this brand, but it's called The Stow. And this is just like the most beautiful like crossbody bag. The leather on this is like super thick and like, I don't know, it's really, really nice. It holds the shape really well. It does have a little bit of wear, but I feel like it kind of adds to the bag. I feel like it makes it look cooler. Um, like I said, the brand is called The Stow. It's just some balls right there on the front. And then we have a crossbody strap, which is adjustable. And then you can wear it like this. I love the color. It's kind of like, um, like a burnt orange kind of color. And this does zip across the top as well. And then the interior has a zipper pocket. And then it has another pocket right behind it and then the interior is actually unlined so it's also leather on the inside uh and yeah what did you say Vader? oh i keep thinking you're talking to me um yeah they are like a couple marks on the exterior like i said there's a little bit of rubbing on the corners but I feel like the bag has so much life left, and I think it's beautiful. Such a gorgeous bag. And this is number 14. This is our orange dusto crossbody bag with brass hardware. And this is going to be how much, Vaderian? And let's do Yeah, I think we're gonna do fifty for this guy. I think this bag, like the resale value is about a hundred dollars. But we're gonna do fourteen dollars for this one. Um besides the Hermes coin purse, do you have any other coin purses? Um let me see. been watching the five days <gasps> no i haven't watched that mr rex what happened vader in <laughs> can you talking to me why what did i say Um, I have this coach right here. Always. Oh, thank you, KS. I'm going to have to check that out, Mr. X. I don't even think I've ever heard about that. So, um, this one is a little coin pouch, but also has like some card slots inside. But this one's a coach. It's in also like a burnt orange. So it's orange with red in it. It just has the coach logo and buzz right there on the front flap. The interior is lined in like this, kind of like a mahogany 
mahogany, purpley, um, leather. There's a pocket back there, three card slots, and then you can put your change right inside of there. Again, this is all lined in leather, which is really, really nice. Uh, and yeah. And this one is in like new condition as well. And this is going to be item number 15. Orange. Um, coach, coin, and card wallet. And this guy is going to be $45. That's item number 15. There she is again. Super cute. Oh, yeah, the interior is like an ox blood. You're right. That's the. Thank you, Mr. Rex. I can never think of colors sometimes. <laughs> I just. <laughs> Call everything burgundy or mahogany. Um, I do have some vintage coach, actually. I have this vintage cutie right here. This one is made in Costa Rica. And this is a black shoulder bag. Again, this is vintage. This, is, uh, this one's unlined. So the inside is just in suede. And it just has this one interior pocket on the inside. So it's kind of hard to show. Um, and then it just has the zipper that goes across the top. And this one is a little shoulder bag. So it's really nice. This is like a really cute size. Right? This one is uh, is missing the little coach, uh, like the hang tag. But the bag is in great shape. Look at that. The leather is still beautiful. Super duper soft. And that's going to be item number 16. Our vintage coach made in Costa Rica shoulder bag. And this one's how much for Adrian? And this one's going to be $55. That's number 16. Our vintage coach. I think they just re-released this one too. Right, Vidrian? Didn't they, like, re-release this style, like, at, on the Coach website? And it is, like, really expensive. <laughs> I think it looks, like, exactly the same, too, so it's crazy. But I feel like the vintage, you know, the vintage leather is, like, way better than any of the new stuff. Right, Mr. Rex? It's a beautiful bag. I do have some more vintage Coach. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But up next, I have... Okay, this one is a Henry Bendel shoulder bag, and this one is a embossed and printed red, like, python on the front and the back, and then it has um, a caviar black leather trim for the sides and the handles, and then it has gold hardware. We have a little Henry Bendel charm right there. This does zip all the way across the top. And then the interior is a black satin with like the leather, the um, cream and brown uh, fabric trim. And then this is also like a white leather for the pocket. So there's a zipper pocket, an open pocket underneath, and then two more pockets. Or yeah, two more pockets on the other side right there. The bag is in fantastic condition inside and out. And this one will um, will go on your shoulder too. There's still a little bit of space. It's not like super tight when I carry it on my shoulder. I have a larger arm as well. But if you are wearing like a thick jacket or something, it might be a little more difficult if um, your arm is as big as mine. <laughs> but it's super cute. Kind of looks like a Birkin. And then these little guys right here, they actually like pop open too. If you wanted to kind of like expand the bag a little bit. And then those little things just buckle in. Lynn. Oh, Lynn, I always do that for like the, for like the holiday time. Yeah. I love the holiday time. Usually like I'll do the holiday sales like for Christmas. Um, usually like mid to end of November, beginning of December. Because I feel like by the end of December, like towards Christmas, it's like a little too difficult to like online shop anymore. And everyone's just like too busy like to bother anymore. 
that's what's the color of the hardware the hardware is gold but then it has silver like um it's gold with silver if that makes sense and i don't think it'll fit a laptop in it it might fit a macbook air but it's not very big at all um hold on let me see if my ipad will fit my ipad is about the size of a macbook air because i have the largest um ipad with a case yeah too full it's a it fits but it's a tight squeeze in there so macbook air might fit but it's definitely not going to zip up across and you're going to have to kind of put it diagonally into the bag but this is going to be it's um it's an embossed python mr rex so it's embossed and printed but it's leather so this is 17 embossed and printed Python red Henry Bendel shoulder bag with black caviar leather trim and gold and silver hardware. And this guy is gonna be, uh, we're gonna do this guy for $70. And that's item number 17. You're welcome. I'm sorry, it's not big enough to hold like a laptop. It's such a cute bag, though. So cute. It kind of looks like um, a cross between like the Birkin and the like the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour. Um, okay, oh, I love. I do still have that one. I think. Yes, I do. That's this guy right here. Beautiful metallic silver. This one is in like new condition. Here's the bottom. This one also does come with the original tag still from Nordstrom. It was $1,295. I remember when this bag came out, I was just like, oh, it's gorgeous. And then the interior, just has that blue lining and that one interior pocket right there on the side. Oh, Linda, I love that you love that bag. Ah! All right, number 18 goes to you. Vadrian, how much was this one in? This is a silver... Um, metallic mark. Jacob's collection crossbody bag with blue leather lining. Okay, yeah, this one was 135. But congratulations, KS Love. This one's beautiful. You're gonna love it. Okay. It's for your daughter. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it would. It'd be a gorgeous, like, homecoming bag. She can even cr um, remove the crossbody, so if she just wanted to use that as a clutch, she could do that, too, because the crossbody snaps off. All right, 19 is up next. Oh, okay, this one, this is just going to be a as-is, like, handbag rehab bag. So if anyone's interested in a little handbag repair bag, this is the uh, Michael Kors crossbody in brown. Um, you can see that there's, like, dryness and, like, discoloration throughout. So this is a good bag to do, like, a, a re-dye, or if you wanted to color match it, 
or just like repaint the whole thing in brown, you can definitely do that as well. It has a little top handle, like a shoulder, short, shoulder strap, and then the crossbody strap right here. Crossbody strap is removable and adjustable. We have a fun tassel right there, and this actually opens up to a pocket. So this is a compartment that goes all the way inside. Um, the interior of this is nice and clean, actually, of the pocket right there. I don't think there's any like major marks on the interior. There's just a little discoloration right around where the zipper is. And then the main interior looks like this. Um, this is actually from the edge coating. So the edge coating kind of stuck to the leather. That's the edge coating from the edge or the edges of the strap. And then that kind of like got all over the interior. So that's all edge coat. Um, staining on the interior of the bag and it might be removed if you like you can turn the lining inside out and clean it out but it does have like pen marks and stuff throughout and there's one interior zipper pocket just in the back oh thank you for letting her know Tupel and hi, Jean, how's it going? Okay, so this is our handbag um, fixer upper Michael Kors uh, brown leather flap bag. And that guy is going to be just um, $20 for um, number 19. Oh, and was... Oh, Dodo Bird's calling number 17. Congratulations, Dodo Bird. Yay! Yay! That was a great dad. Beautiful Henry Bendel. Okay. Whew, it's getting hot. Sheep as chips. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you caught when I say that all the time. I love saying that. I don't know why. I make the kids, like the kids have started saying it too. Oh, Jean. The mom, glad to see you here. <laughs> okay, we're on item number 20 now. All right, 20, 20, 20. Da, 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 da. Okay, guys, this one is a super cute. I know, Dawn, it's like so hot right now. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can turn on the AC for my phone. It is warm. Jeez Louise. Sometimes it wants. It, sometimes it doesn't work when I try to do it from my phone. Okay. Up next, this is a Madewell backpack. I think I had this once before. I'm still waiting for Hadrian Wish. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> Okay, so this is a uh, pink and it's like a natural um, color, like a cream um, canvas. And it's a drawstring backpack, has leather back straps, a little top handle right there. Um, I think there are a couple little marks. There's like a little mark right there. And a couple on the back. There's like one right there. <gasps> really? The Phantom Thrift Store? I'm going to have to check that out. I love leather straps. And I feel like I always need extra ones. And the interior is nice and clean. I think. Yes, it is. And then it has just one zipper pocket and an open pocket underneath. It also still has the original tags from Madewell um, still attached to it. Uh, which is awesome 
but yeah, so this is we need heater and tote bags for <laughs> Laura. Oh my gosh, that would be so much fun for the sarcastic t shirts. <laughs> Cecilia, Cecilia, would anyone actually wear that though? People would be like, what are you wearing? This is a pink and a natural canvas striped um, Madewell drawstring backpack with leather trim. And this is how much feed rate? <sighs> okay, this guy's gonna be $30. And that is item number 20. How cute is this? Little backpack. Oh, Kathy, did you want this one? I just wanted to make sure. Just let me know. <laughs> Fat <-ta> <laughs> Isn't it cute? Um, ooh, we have a jumper. Kathy, I just wanted to make sure you didn't want it, otherwise it's gonna go to Mel C. All right, this one goes to Kathy. Kathy called this one first. Congratulations, Kathy S. Yes. All right, 21 is up next. Okay, I gotta show you guys this one again because I love this bag. This is that Patricia Nash in the red suede. She is beautiful. And it has the fun tassels right there. There's a back pocket, the top handle, crossbody strap. This one is so cute on too. Ah, so fun. This is like perfect for fall and like for winter. This has a little lock right here, so you push that in, opens up. This is actually a pocket as well. There's a pocket right there. And the interior is just lined in this microfiber lining. We got two pockets on the front and then a zipper in the back and the inside is nice and clean. And she is in beautiful condition. There's just a little bit of rubbing on the corners, right there. Nothing too crazy. And like the, the tassels pretty much mask it. So you don't even really see anything. But this is gonna be number 21. And this is our red suede fringed uh, Patricia Nash crossbody bag with brass hardware. And this is gonna be how much Beatrain? Okay, this one's gonna be eighty dollars. <laughs> Jean, well, thank you for thinking of me when that happens. <laughs> there you go. And the le the strap, the underside is like a regular leather, which is nice too. So when you're actually like wearing it, it's like it's gonna it feels nicer to have that on your shoulder than like the suede. Okay, up next. Oh, it's very boho vibe, Sister of a Down, for sure. 22, and... Mm -mm -mm. What do we have next? Oh, I have a vintage Brahmin.
And this guy is black leather on the back. And then it's like embossed croc on the top flap and the bottom right here. And then we have the little Brahmin charm on the side. Oh, I love Dooney and Burke too. Yes. There's a nice back pocket right here. This is lined in suede. And then the regular leather on the other side. And then this is a little magnetic snap right there. Leather underneath. And then it just says Made in USA by Brahmin. It's embossed right there. And then it just has one zipper pocket. And then the interior is a microfiber lining. There is a little like mark down there, but that's the rubbing from the hardware, like the underside of the hardware. So that's why there's that little mark right there. And there we go. Cute little vintage crossbody. This bag is probably definitely older than I am because it's made in USA Brahmin. It's a great little crossbody bag. And I love the color combo. Oh yeah, Don, I know it's late for her over there, so she might have fallen asleep already. Okay, so this is our brown and black Brahmin vintage made crossbody bag with brass hardware. And this is gonna be how much paid all right, we're going to do this guy for $50. Vintage Brahmin. It's in really great shape for being vintage. There's very minimal rubbing on the corners. The leather is in great shape. Okay, 23 is up next. All right, up next we've got... What do I have in here? Um, I have this is a oh my gosh, this strap is like <laughs> stuck. Ooh, dream bag. Yeah, it's youthful, but it's your dream bag. Alright, so this is a vintage coach. And this one, okay, this is a vintage coach made in China, but it's still from the era where they have the unlined um, bags. This is just a little flat crossbody flat bag in brown, and then it has silver hardware. This one's super cute, so it sits kind of like that when you wear it crossbody. There's the back. And then here's the interior. So again, it's unlined. The creed is right there. And then there's a back pocket. Oh, I love the Balenciaga Graffiti City too full. Have you ever seen the graffiti? Um, the, I think it's called the Art School um, Chanel bags, like the backpack and the boy bag. They're so cute. And, but they're like canvas, they're so expensive, and I'm like so obsessed with them. So this is our vintage brown. Vintage brown leather coach crossbody flat bag with silver hardware made in China. Okay, and this one's $50. That's number 23. So cute, beautiful brown leather, super soft. Up next, we have a Kate Spade. This is item number 24. This is the one that has like, it looks like a present. I love it. So this is actually like all leather. Like it even has like the little leather bow right there with a little um, light gold metal aglets. There's the back. So this has a crossbody strap. It does zip all the way across the top as well, which is nice. The interior has one zipper pocket and then two open pockets underneath. And this is in like new condition. It's super clean inside and out. There's the bottom. Okay. So this is 24. Kate Spade cream leather. Uh, present bag. 
And this is going to be $75. That's number 24. So cute. This would be like a fun like Christmas bag. Because it looks like a present. Okay, that's number 24. Up next. Oh, I still also do have this um, oak um, tote bag, and this is in a cheetah print, and this is all leather, and the inside is unlined as well, so it's like, it's in the suede. This one is so cute, it smells amazing, like it smells so, so nice, like the leather scent on this bag is intoxicating, and the inside is like super clean, there's no pockets or anything on the interior, but it's... Like I said, it's unlined, and it's just suede on the inside, and it's this gorgeous printed cheetah. Mmm, it smells so good. Oh, that's awesome, Deborah! Congratulations on your 10-year work anniversary. The, push the Pochette Matisse, too, is such a beautiful bag. This is our oak um, cheetah print tote bag. Ooh, I love the Peekaboo Mr. Rex. It's one of my favorite bag styles. Agreed, Chaos. The leather smell is so, 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 so good. Okay, we're going to do this guy for 45 Okay, so 45 for number 25 Then 26 is up next. Let's do... These guys. Okay. I still also do have the reversible Saint Laurent tote. And this is in gray leather on one side. It's the bottom, has little feet. And then when you um, turn it inside out, it's in the black suede. And again, it also does come with that rem uh, the removable pouch as well. And then the suede side also does have little metal feet as well. And then here's a little pouch. And then here's how it looks turned inside out. And the straps are, um, are long enough to carry on your shoulder as well. And then that's how this guy looks. And this is number 26, our reversible gray leather and black suede Saint Laurent tote bag with gold hardware. And this will also come with the dust bag as well, the original Saint Laurent dust bag. I feel like you can never find this one for some reason. I don't think you ever write it down, because I always find it. Um... Alright, this guy's going to be 500 
Isn't it such a beautiful bag though, Linda? It's gorgeous. I'm like obsessed. I, just, I love that it's reversible too. It's kind of like two bags in one. And then you also have the clutch that's removable and you can use that one by itself too. And you can kind of make it like a little um, clutch. Ooh, I don't have any passport holders right now, unfortunately. I have wallets big enough to put your passport in, though, but I don't have, like, an actual passport holder. I also still do have this guy right here. This is the Celine Phantom in navy leather. She is beautiful. She also does come with the original dust bag as well. And then the interior, she's just all navy leather as well. Let me see if I can take out all this stuffing. Here she is without, her, without all the stuffing inside. So she does hold her shape really, really well. Here's the interior. Beautiful, smooth navy leather. And it just has one zipper pocket. And there's the bottom. And there she is. And kind of like on your arm. Okay, so this one is 27. Navy Celine Phantom Tote. And this is how much? And this guy's 800. This one is in really great shape. the back, both sides. You can also wear it with like the wings tucked in like that. And then it just kind of has a different shape. Okay. Let me just put the piece of back in the And then we're gonna go on to 28. Too full, when are you taking the test? Or the exam. I actually think I want to put that bag up there. Am I going to be able to reach? Oh my gosh, it fits. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Alrighty, up next, we're on 28. Oh, they are coming up. I'm sure you're gonna do amazing though. You're gonna pass with flying colors, Hannah. All right, 28. Um, this is the Rebecca Minkoff. That super fun fringe crossbody clutch bag. This one is new with tags. And this is 28. Pink off black fringe um, clutch crossbody bag. And this one has silver hardware. And this guy is $100. Again, this one is brand new with tags. That's 28. Oh, it does also come with a dust bag, too, for the Rebecca Binkoff. Oh, and then if there are any um, Claire Vivier fans, I do have a couple Claire Vivier bags at the moment. I have this guy right here. This is the, I believe it's called the Simple Tote, maybe, might be the name of this. And it's, um has four different leathers. There's a suede, suede navy, suede red. This is a like a tan brown color. And then this is a, um, what is that called? When it, it's perforated, like a brown perforated. And then the rest of the bag is in navy. And then the handles and the, and the shoulder strap are in black. And you can wear this one kind of like that on your shoulder. 
And the interior looks like this. It also does come with a dust bag as well. And there's, it comes with all the Claire Vivier stuff also inside of there. There's one interior pocket in the back and the rest is lined in the chambray lining. And there is a little bit of color transfer on here, but that's from the navy when it touches because this is like an untreated leather. So it kind of has absorbed a little bit of the color. All right. And this one is how much for Adrian? Right, KS? Claire VA Simple Tote Bag. Okay, how much is this one, Adrian? All right, this one is $275, and that's number 29. So cute. It's a beautiful bag. Okay, up next, do another one of these from my box right here. I'm glad you liked that tote, Linda. That one was so cute. Oh my gosh, when I was in school, I always had to study with the TV on. When it's too quiet, like I cannot, like I feel like I can't think. Um, this one is a Madewell. Yeah, a little Madewell um, transport tote. It's the mini. And this one has this suede piece down the front. The suede does have like this coloration um, on the front of it. The rest is in this brown leather. You can always like turn it around though and just use this side. And it's just like that. You can see like the grain looks really cool. It does have a little bit of rubbing on the bottom corners as well. We have the crossbody strap, which is removable and adjustable. The inside is just lined in black canvas. We got two open pockets on one side, and that's it. And it does zip across the top as well. Okay, so that is... <laughs> Linda. I don't think I would be able to study during a live either, though. Like, that is amazing. I just need to have just like regular TV playing in the background. It's like any TV would do. Okay, so this is our brown leather transport tote with suede stripe. And we're gonna do this guy for um, $35. Like I said, it does have some wear on the suede stripe. But other than that, the bag is in pretty great shape. And you can always turn it backwards if you don't want the suede part to show. Or you can dye this a different color. Or you might even be able to clean it off. Do I have my eraser? Let's see how much it's still clean off. I haven't actually tried erasing this. I'm just using, this is an eraser pencil. I'm just gonna erase the bottom side and see how it looks. I need to start keeping this in my bag too, cause you can, you can even use this to clean like regular leather too. And I love that you can just click out the eraser and it has, these are like refillable. And when you buy these, they come with um, refills for the eraser. And I think it comes with like two or three, but these are from Daiso. So they're just $1.50. So they're pretty inexpensive. They're cheaper than buying like a regular rubber eraser. And I feel like these, are nice and soft and I feel like they're easier to use because you can also concentrate on like on certain parts easier and they're easier to hold too. Right. Ooh, that has made a world of a difference. Hold on. Look at this when I show you guys. Look how much cleaner that is. Like I did this bottom side right here. 
in comparison to the top, that looks so much better. Um, Cindy, are you calling number 30? Just wanted to make sure. Also, who was talking about Gilmore Girls? Because I love Gilmore Girls. Because I used to watch Gilmore Girls all the time when I was studying. That was like mine and my mom's favorite show. Gilmore Girls is the best. Alrighty, but um, I think you're calling number 30, Cindy, so congratulations! Yay! Okay. Oh, Kathy S, you're calling the cheetah bag? Yay! I love that cheetah bag. Congratulations! Ah, uh, Linda! Oh my gosh, I love Gilmore Girls so much. I watched every episode, every season. I only watched halfway through the reboot because I don't want it to be over. It's so sad. Like, I just, like, don't want to watch it because I don't want it to end. So I know if there are still episodes left that I haven't watched, it still lives on for me as if there are still new episodes. So I haven't finished watching it yet. Like, what they did, um, that special. It was, like, on Netflix, right? Okay, 31 is up next. Congrats, Cappy. That cheetah bag is yours. I love this, the leather smell on that bag, Cappy. When you get it, you're going to love it. It smells so, 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 so good. Okay, up next. I wonder if I can use my eraser on this mark. Oh, that one comes off. I think I need a stronger cleaner for that other mark. Um, okay, let's do this one instead. I still have this black quilted. Oh, uh, Linda, I'm a, I'm probably gonna like binge watch it one of these days. I just like. <laughs> oh wait, has anyone watched the first episode of the new Game of Thrones reboot? Yes, no, it is so good so far. Oh, it is so good. I am so excited for it, but I cannot wait for the for the Lord of the Rings one. But so far, I really like that first episode of the Game of Thrones reboot. It is so, so good. Okay, sorry, I had to sit down. Kristen, really? That's awesome, though. Okay, so this one is a black quilted Michael Kors um, flat bag. It looks like a Chanel. It's so cute. It has the convertible straps. You can wear this as a crossbody or as a shoulder bag. The leather on this is so super duper soft. We have a nice back pocket right here so you can throw your cell phone inside. And there's hardware right here on the front. It does have some signs of wear. So it has some scratches on there. But the leather is in such great shape. Hi, Norma. How's it going? Norma, I'm still looking for that belt. I haven't forgotten about you. <laughs> I'm still looking for it. I'll let you know when I find it. Um, interior looks like this. There's two open pockets on one side, a middle zippered compartment, and the back has card slots and then the zipper pocket as well. So lots and lots of compartments. This one is so, so good. The bag is adorable. Again, you can wear it as a crossbody, or you can wear it as a really fun shoulder bag. Okay. Right, Melissa? It does. It feels so, so, so soft, too. The leather feels really nice. This is our black quilted Michael Kors um, convertible flat bag with silver hardware. And this is how much, Peter? All right, this guy is $70. And that's 31 
Up next, I have, this is that beautiful green Philip Lim messenger bag. This one is so cute. I love that it has these little wings on the side that open up when you unzip it. Like, I feel like it just looks so classy. This one, you can wear as a crossbody bag. You can definitely fit, like, your 13-inch MacBook Pro inside of here. There's the back. And then the front, you kind of just, like, pop the top flap open like this. And then the interior looks like that. It has a zipper pocket inside of there and then black lining. Oh, Irene, how's it going? Thank you so much for giving the video a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. And yeah, there is a little bit of wear though on the bag. Like the corners do have a little bit of rubbing, but nothing crazy. So what the bottom looks like. Hi, Veronica. How are you? Uh, Veronica, I haven't been to Veterans Thrift all week. I'm like going through withdrawals. I was supposed to go today and I didn't get to go. I was trying to finish cleaning up the room, which is still a hot mess, but I don't know. Maybe hopefully I'll be able to go in tomorrow. But there we go. That one is item number 32. Oh, and the leather on this is really cool. It kind of looks like the Epi leather from um, Louis Vuitton. Like a, a cross between like Epi leather and like kind of like an elephant leather, like the Dumbo leather from Alexander Wang. This is our 30. This is our green Philip Lim Messenger crossbody bag with gold hardware. And we're going to do this one for just $150. $150 for our Philip Lim. That is number 32. Great little crossbody bag. So cute. I just love the style of this one. How fine those little sides open. Okay, up next. Oh, I'm doing very well. Thank you, Veronica. All right, 33. Okay, maybe, um, should we go to 35 tonight? Or do you guys want to go to 40? Let me see if I have any more wallets. Do a couple wallets really quick. Okay, um, number 33. This is a Harvey's Minnie Mouse wallet. This one is huge. Ah, oh, Veronica, right? I'm missing it so much. I feel like a lot of people have been going to. They've been messaging me, sending me photos of stuff they've had. And I'm like, ah, oh, I can't believe I haven't gone. So jelly. Oh, yeah, that is a good question, West Coast gal. Okay, West Coast gal, who do you prefer? Do you like Rory, or did you like... Or who is your favorite character in Gilmore Girls? I love... My favorites were Suki, and I really liked Rory, but sometimes she kind of got a little... But I felt like... I felt very connected to Rory, because I felt like that's kind of like how I was when I was in school, too. So... I, I felt like a kindred spirit. Marion 50. <laughs> I don't know about that. We're coming back tomorrow. So, um, can't stay up too late tonight. I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, so here's the wallet. It's in super great condition. Nice and clean on the inside. Clear ID slot. Um, lots of card pockets. You can put, um, this is like a passport wallet too. So you can put your tickets in there and your, um, your, What's it called? Passport. <laughs> There's a change pocket right inside of there. It's nice and clean. And then a large pocket right in the back. You can fit your cell phone inside of there. And this one is a super rare print, too. So that's the cheetah. That the, I think it's a cheetah or leopard print with the mini mouse. So, so cute. I love Suki so much. I just wanted to eat all her food, though. Like, that's all I was thinking about. I was like, man, whatever Suki's cooking looks so delicious. 
Okay, so this is our Harvey's Leopard Print Mini Mouse. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to do this guy for $85. That's item number 33. Our Harvey's Leopard Print Mini Mouse Wall, and this one is in fantastic condition. So cute. Right, West Coast gal? A good question would be, which one of Rory's friends was your favorite? Like, who was your favorite friend of, of Rory? I really liked um, Lane. Lane was hilarious. But I also really like Paris for some reason. I always felt kind of bad for her. But she was also she was always so like sassy, but like I still liked her. Plus she was also really great um when she was on How to Get Away with Murder. Uh I just pretended that that was Paris. Like after she graduated from college, she like <laughs> became a lawyer and that was just her. Like I just pretended it was like a crossover. Okay, um, this one is a little coach phone crossbody bag. And this is in like the T-Rose design with the T-Rose turn lock. This is in a light brown monogram canvas. And then it has tan leather um, for the top flap in the back. And then these are just four built-in card slots. The top flap's a little wrinkly, has a little wrinkle. In the top and then the sides are cool because they're the printed snake skin so it goes all around the the base and the sides of the bag and then you can wear this one as a shoulder bag like this or you can wear it crossbody or um or yeah <laughs> those are pretty much the only two ways you can wear it and then the interior is lined in leather and let's try my phone inside of here. So phone fits in beautifully. I have my pop socket and my case on and it closes beautifully. Then again, you have access to your four card slots in the back. Right, Linda? I love Paris too. But did you guys watch How to Get, with, How to Get Away with Murder? I was kind of sad when it ended, but... I feel like it was time. Like the first, the first season was so good. The second was okay. The last one was like a, like was up and down for me. Agreed, West Coast gal. Yes. Okay, this is thirty four, and this is our coach phone bag with T Rose lock and monogram canvas and tan leather and snake leather trim and we're gonna do this guy for just $85 that's gonna be item number 34 great little coach phone cross body bag so so cute this is how it is as a cross body like that. It's a cute little crossbody bag. Right, Don? Yes! I really like that show. Oh, KS Love, thank you! I'll send that to Vadrian right now, actually, so that way um, we can send you that invoice already. Uh, Vadrian, this is um, KS Loves. Yeah. I'm sending it to you right now. Alright, we'll send you that. Um... Oh, no, this one's it. Sorry, Vadrian. That's the other one. But you'll see it when you see it. Perfect. Yeah. Did you get it? Okay, perfect. Alright, we'll send you that right now, KS Love. Um... Oh, Chris, Kristen, yeah, it's definitely, like, something that doesn't hold a lot. 
it's really just like a bag that you were like if you're just running at the grocery store or something for sure or like if you're gonna do like a pickup for the kids at school Okay, 35 is up next. So we're going to go to 40 tonight. So um, we took a few more items. I got to show you guys a cute little Kate Spade wallet right here. Oh, it has a little thing on it. This one is in this embossed leather. It's so pretty with like the spade design. And it has a little Kate Spade plaque right there. And then the back has three built-in card slots. And then it has... Like the main, or the, like the larger slot up at the top. KS Love, yes. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I think, I'm going to try to start as early as possible. Hopefully at 8, but we, we might not start till 10. Um, I won't know till tomorrow. I just need to figure out what I need to do tomorrow still. <laughs> okay, so this is our black Kate Spade embossed card holder wallet with gold hardware. And this guy is $45, and she's in really great shape. She's in pretty much like new condition, and they're just very light marks on the little Kate Spade hardware right there. Otherwise, she's in really, 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 really great shape. That was 35 And then 36 Right, Veronica? All right, I don't know if there are any um, B. Mikowski fans out there, but this one is a really cute red leather bag. has silver hardware. The leather is so soft and squishy. I love the knot details on the shoulder straps. I feel like knot details are so in right now. There's the flamenco knot bag from Loewe. There's the knot bag from Celine. Um... The, I think Chloe has a bag with, like, knots as well. Like, everyone has, like, knots on their bags right now. Um, there's a pocket right here on one side, another pocket on the other side. So you have lots of compartments. There's another back pocket right there. And the top is a, has a magnetic flap or magnetic snap. And then there's a middle dividing zipper pocket, another zipper pocket, and then two open pockets on that side. So lots and lots of compartments. The bag is in pretty great shape. Very minimal marks, if any. Yeah, the leather is in pretty good shape on this guy. I think the most wear might be just right there. You can see a couple little marks at the very, very bottom of the bag. But otherwise, she is in great shape. Super duper soft. Um, Veronica, this is in a cherry red color. Cherry red, B. Makowski. I do still have that um, that green card wallet, Laura. I'll actually grab it right now. Um, with silver hardware. Okay, we're going to do this guy for just $25. $25 for our B. Makowski. That's item number 35. Or 36, sorry. What was 35? Oh, that was the card wallet. All right, so that was 36, 37. I'll grab that uh, that Mark Jacobs right now. Oh, not Mark Jacobs, Tory Burch, sorry. Tory Burch, this is that green Tory Burch, the one with like the perforated design right there. Super cute. She's in pretty good shape. She definitely has, like, some signs of wear. She's definitely pre-loved. But once you get the cards inside of her, it's going to be looking good. There might be a little bit of, like, discoloration just on these two sides right here, on the corners, but it's very minimal. And then you have two card slots, two card slots for a total of four, and then there's the top right there. So this one's number 37, green, Tory Birch card case wallet with perforated 
design. And this is gonna be oh, this is how much Peter? Thirty five. All right, this guy's thirty five dollars. That's item number thirty seven. All right, up next. Oh, Vader says actually $30. Sorry about that. We're going to do 30. Let me redo that one. No, you're right, Laura. It was 30. <laughs> Vader gave me the wrong number. Okay, up next. I have this guy. Oh, give me one second, Veronica. Let me put that up. Um, if you guys haven't entered the giveaway, I will put the link up. And congrats, Laura. Number 37 is yours. And here is the giveaway link. If you haven't entered the giveaway yet, head over there. We're about to um, end. So um, head over there really quickly, enter the giveaway. And in a few short minutes, we should um, be done with the live. I have just a couple more items. Three more items, right? Yeah, three more items to show you guys. Up next, we're on item number 38. And it's going to be this beautiful... Claire Vivier Satchel. The color on this one is so good. How pretty is this? It's in this mustard yellow leather. Um, it does have some marks on it. Like there's like a spot right there. Um, and some slight color mar like marks on the side. But she still has so much life left. I also love the crossbody strap. Right here, the bag sits nicely, has a top handles. The interior is in chambray. Then there's just one zipper pocket right there. Uh, the interior is super clean. There's no um, pen marks or anything on the inside. Um, there is a little bit of a stain right here, though, like right in the interior of the bag. And this does zip all the way across. And you don't see that stain when the bag is closed up. So it's in the inside. And this guy is 38. This is our Claire Vivier satchel. A mustard yellow satchel bag. And this is how much we rain. All right, this guy is $85 for our Claire Vivier. That's number 38. Such a cute color, right? So good. I, it looks really good against navy. Okay, 39 is up next. 39... Okay, two more items. Ooh, I am obsessed with the color of this bag right here. Okay. Now this one is a Elizabeth and James. Drawstring bucket bag. Look at the color of this bag. The green is Stunning. I love the leather. It is so cool. It's kind of like that um, Alexander Wang, like the Dumbo leather. There's one back pocket right here as well with a silver hardware. Nice little pocket. And then you have the little shoulder strap right here, which actually is removable if you wanted to take this off. The strap is actually super cute. I feel like you can put this on other bags too to add like a pop of color. And it'll be like it'll be adorable, and you can also remove the longer strap as well if you wanted to just use the shorter or the shorter strap. 
and this one's a crossbody like that. Like I said, this is a drawstring. And then the interior looks like this. There's one zipper pocket down there and then two open pockets. It's nice and clean on the inside. It's in really great shape. And I think this is actually a sample bag. Yeah, this is from a this is a sample. So I don't I'm not sure if they actually made this bag in this color. So it might be pretty rare. But the color is beautiful. I feel like it's not coming up properly on screen. It's almost like that um, the Bottega Veneta green color. It's definitely not looking like that on camera though, like on the screen. It's, I feel like the color is even better in person than it's showing up there. Okay, so this guy is number 39. Our green Elizabeth and James drawstring crossbody bag with silver hardware. And this guy is going to be how much for Adrian? Okay, this guy is going to be $70. And that one's number 39. Isn't it so pretty? Like the texture of the leather is beautiful. The color is stunning. I love it with the silver hardware too. It's so, so cute. Oh, and here's the bottom. It does also have little feet. Look at the little feet. It has, even the feet have like a little design on it too, which is cool. And the crossbody strap, the top, or the top of the crossbody strap is the same as the shoulder strap, which is cool. So I like that detail as well. So it's just like really nice on your shoulder. Okay, so that was 39. Oh, Jocelyn's calling number 39. Congratulations, Jocelyn. Woo, yay. All right, and then 40. Is gonna be your last item for the evening. Woo -woo. Let's do. Uh. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, okay. This one is so good. This is, um, oh, thank you, KS Love. Okay, this is our last item for the evening. And this one, okay, this bag is like, um, the it, like one of the it bags from Marnie. I think it's called the balloon bag. But you can look it up. Hold on, actually, let me look it up. I just want to make sure it's the right name. Um, is it the balloon? Balloon bag. Yeah, it's the Marnie balloon bag. Okay, okay, okay. This is the Marnie balloon bag. It's in a beautiful color. And here she is. It's like in this like really pretty mustard color. She does have some signs of wear. Like the leather has like some marks on it. You can see like, it kind of has like a patina throughout. It has like the lighter sides and darker sides of the leather. And then it has a brown top handle and those little side leather pieces. And this also has the crossbody strap, which is right here. It's nice and adjustable as well. So you can make it shorter if you wanted. This was one of Marnie's like it bags from like a little bit ago. But I feel like this is actually one of Marnie's most recognizable bags as well. So it's called the Marnie Balloon. Right, Don and Jocelyn? That green was so pretty. Ugh. Okay, but here is the bag. And then the interior looks like this. Um, I think there might be a couple marks on the interior, a couple pen marks. 
I tried getting the ones at the very bottom out. There was like a couple of pen marks at the very bottom. And um, they've lightened up a lot. Now it just like looks like a shadow of a pen mark. So it might not even show up that well on screen anymore. But, oh, there you go. There's that one interior zipper pocket right here, little Marnie um, tag. And then the other side has another pocket. And this is how it looks, kind of like carried like top handle, like that. Right, Melissa? I feel like it looks real. like the, the strap just like looks really nice with the bag. Um, you can also remove like the strap if you wanted. And I think you can actually buckle the straps together on the inside. Like that and then you can also kind of just like carry it kind of like this as well if you wanted but yes this one is our last item number 40 our Marnie balloon bag in mustard yellow and that's number 40 Okay, and this one, let's do $120 for number 40, 120 This bag, reach, like, resale can still go for, like, a couple hundred, also depending on the color, um, upwards of, like, 700 But that is our last item for the night. And let me leave the link one more time. If anyone hasn't entered the giveaway, I will post that right here. And if anyone has any questions about anything, let me know. Otherwise, uh, we should have the invoices sent out within the next 15 minutes. Again, we will be back tomorrow um, between 8 and 10. I'll schedule it tomorrow. I'll, I'll try to schedule it tonight after this. Um, and hopefully I'll see you guys all tomorrow night. Good night, Linda. Okay, guys. I don't have my camera with me, unfortunately. So I'm just going to... Pop it up on the screen once we pull our winner. So I have my YouTube random comment picker up. And I'll put in our link for the giveaway. And if the if the um, the comment chosen doesn't uh, pertain to the question, then we're gonna go on to the next one because it is just a regular video. And oh my gosh, Diana Sabori, Diana, are you still in here? Diana, my kryptonite food is. Fion, I have to eat at least once a year. Or flan, not fion, flan. Oh my gosh, I can't read. Flan, I do love flan. Filipino um, leche flan is my one of my weaknesses as well, Diana. But congratulations, Diana. You have won tonight's giveaway. I told you, once you win once, I feel like you win like more often than not. So congratulations, Diana. Um, you are the winner of tonight's giveaway for the little pouch and the little... Um, like the little handkerchief. I'll message you again. <laughs> I think you won like last week, didn't you? That is so funny. But congratulations, Diana. Again, thank you everyone for being here tonight. Um, I'll see you guys all again tomorrow if you guys can join. And uh, the next sale again is also on Saturday. So Friday night and then Saturday at 10 p.m. Um, will be the next sales. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Will do, Cindy. Oh, uh, Cindy, we won't we won't be able to mail out till next week though, because Vadrian has the your other items and I have um, these, so um, we'll mail out next week, uh, Cindy. All right, thank you guys. Good night. Adios. Love you guys. Good night, Jocelyn, Don, Two Full Sister of a Down, Kirsten, Melissa, Cindy, Tanya, Jag and Brina, K S Love, Laura. Uh, Mama Miss Lang, uh, Mama Sheila, and Rob, Jocelyn, and if I didn't mention your name, I'm so sorry. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, good night, guys. Don't forget to check out tomorrow's video at 7 a.m. Good night. Adios.